Welcome to Christmas morning. We are so thrilled uh, just to be invited into your home to be with you this Christmas. You know, Lisa and I, we really, how we often start Christmas, kind of before we open up all the gifts, is uh, we center our family's hearts around really the the account of the birth of Christ, and that's found in Luke chapter 2. And so we want to invite you kind of on a journey with us into Luke chapter 2, as Lisa's going to read that to us right now, and we might laugh along the way. Sometimes we do that. Yep, you bet. (laughs) All right, here we go. Here we go. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son, and she wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you, and he is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds had said to them. But Mary treasured all these things up in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had seen and heard, which were just as they had been told. You know, I don't know about you, but when I think about that scene, it kind of makes me think like I would have been I would have had a loss for words. And that's tough for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah, I, always I don't have know if I've ever seen that. <laughs> I pretty much always have something to say. Um, but when I think about the coming Christ and this amazing angelic host and the kind of the declaration, I think I would, yeah, have a loss for words. And I yeah. think on a Christmas, you know, here's what Christmas morning might look like for you. As soon as this is over, you're going to go, it's like everything's going to start flying yep. perhaps. And, um, a lot of times we just need to slow down. And so for just a moment, some of the most powerful times in my life have actually been just kind of slowing down and being silent. And for just one minute right now, we just want to invite you to kind of take yourself to the birth of Christ, maybe in your mind and imagine it, maybe imagine what the shepherds saw. And uh, for just a moment right now, be silent. Can we just do that? Can we have a moment of silence, kind of a minute where we're quiet and we just reflect on the true reason for the season, and that is Jesus. And so join us right now just to reflect. Let's be quiet. You know, Lisa and I now just want to pray a simple Christmas blessing over you. May you be filled with the wonder of Mary. The obedience of Joseph. The joy of the angels. The eagerness of the shepherds. The determination of the magi. And the peace of the Christ child. 
Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, may you be blessed this Christmas day. From all of us here at Lakeland, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.